next on the list we have Diaz, courtesy of TMZ. Um, Lewis Evert cops plea deal in assault case to get three years probation. Did you have any idea this happened? I remember this happened, but for whatever reason, I forgot about it, which is basically evidence of a very um, well run PR company, machine, agency, record label, whatever Rock Nation are. They run a tight ship because somehow they were able to bury and sweep the story under the rug for the entire time that it was being investigated. And now that he's been given three years probation, essentially a slap on the wrist and some, you know, what was it called? Um, he has to go and do like anger management, all those sort of things. It's basically the case is done. He can basically continue his career without any real backlash. And also part of the reason why I think, again, oh, just to highlight the story. So, to, for 2020, 2021, I think, beginning or something along those kind of lines, a story went vi viral that supposedly says Louis Vert was, um, happened to be in the area where his ex, Brittany, was in the area too, where she was having a meeting with another artist called St. John. Louis Vert sees them, gets angry, agitated by it, confronts her, confronts St. John, swings at St. John, misses the gun that he has in his, hole, in his pants, drops on the floor, there's a scuffle. He gets the gun, he picks it up, he points it at Brittany um, Belly, who happens to be his ex-girlfriend, and some commotion happens or whatnot, and then he leaves. So, you know, clearly some mad situation. And this seemed to happen at the same time or just after the whole Tory Lane situation happened with him allegedly shooting Megan Thee Stallion in the feet. And for whatever reason, the Tory Lane situation seemed to get a lot more, Tory seemed to get more vitro against him than Lil Zivert did even though the Torres Lane situation, there wasn't really any evidence or proof that he did do what he was alleged to have done. Whereas the Lewis Vert thing seems like it was a bit more cut, clear cut because there was witnesses there. It was outside of a busy cafe. There's probably cameras. It just seemed a bit weird. But anyway, let's read the case. So it seems like now obviously he's got a plea deal. Now, three years probation is a long time, to be honest, to be on probation, but still it's better than being in prison. It says here, Louis Vert took a plea deal uh, in an assault case involving an ex-girlfriend and fellow rapper at St. John. The Los Angeles County District Attorney Office tells us that Louis Vert pleaded non-contest to court to one count of each felony assault with a firing and misdemeanor injury to a girlfriend. Um, we're told he was sentenced to a three years form of probation, one year of treatment for mental health and substance abuse, which is mad, 52 weeks of domestic violence counseling and restitution and a 10 year criminal protective order so he's going to pay her some money and he's going to basically have to stay away from her for 10 years or he get prosecuted so this is the pinnacle of a toxic relationship because from what i remember of britney too to be honest she's not a completely innocent party because she's always been a little bit of a i won't say of her what do we say sure they used to go to each other online i remember seeing posts from jt which is now louis reverse now girlfriend and britney going back and forth and that that's probably women stuff right because i guess women even if the ex is long gone or out of the picture they still hold a bit of resentment because that person had your person before you had them you know i don't know some jealousy thing possession thing who knows but they used to go back and forth with each other all the time Britney would then say some sassy thing about Lucy Vert still being in her DMs, like, you know, vaguely. So this didn't come out of nowhere. They've kind of had this weird thing going on behind the scenes, even though they've both clearly moved on. Um, but yeah, this is peak, peak um, toxicity because despite them having some weird thing going on in the background, Britney still felt comfortable enough to prosecute because usually when somebody's been in a relationship with somebody, it happens a lot when you hear people doing some other madnesses it's usually hard to prosecute because you know there's love there so unless they are willing to file charges or you know go on the stand or whatnot nothing's going to happen maybe this is different because it might be the what you call it district attorney bringing the charges to him as opposed to britney renner filing things but there's a picture of her talking and giving a statement to the police so it looks like she clearly had enough of him and just thought you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna tell so this can end but yeah, crazy, isn't it? 52 is domestic. This clearly somebody has anger issues, which is a shame because, again, I'm a fan of him. Will it affect the way that I listen to his music? Probably not. I've listened to so many controversial, problematic artists that I just don't care, to be honest, unless it's something incredibly egregious. I can separate the art from the artist pretty easily. I've done it all my life, especially considering the music that I like, um, stuff like metal even stuff like indie in the last few years so many bands and lead singers and drummers and whatnot coming out as complete you know pervs and whatnot i still listen to the music 
and the music's good the music's good um i'm not for this more grandstanding of like burning my lps and whatnot it's not gonna happen lucifer cop the plea deal after prosecutors charged him with three felonies assault with a firearm criminal threats and domestic violence plus a misdemeanor charge and carrying a loaded firearm there is something kind of lame about being a rapper and the first and the reason why you get a felony is because you got physical with your ex-girlfriend that's incredibly lame isn't it or is it just me that's incredibly lame um TSD broke the story. Uzi's ex, Brittany Bird, filed a police report back in July claiming Uzi put a gun to her stomach and then hit her. God damn. Remember the alleged incident went down in Dialogue Cafe in West Hollywood where Uzi Bird jumped out of a Cadillac Escalade and confronted John Lane to physical altercation. At the time, sources connected to Brittany told us she was discussing a business project with St. John when Uzi Bird rolled up and confronted everyone at their table. Some people were saying that this is Cap and most likely they were dating. I don't think that's true. John St. John and Brittany. I don't, you know, just because somebody's. It might. It, it looks a little bit. I remember seeing the pictures of them hanging out. It did look a little bit, you know. Re, uh, rehearsed or kind of plotted or planned like they kind of sent some Hollywood reporter guy to come down and take a video of them having dinner I guess as an effort to kind of boost their profile but I don't think it was um, more sinister than that really but yeah mad in it Lucy Vert gets three years on probation crazy crazy and not the same level of backlash that uh, Tory Lane's got even though it doesn't matter but you know 